Hello everyone, I'm Yi from the University of East Anglia. Uh, this is our work, Vehicle Re-Identification by Adversary Bidirectional Errors Team Network. Vehicle Re-ID aims to spot a vehicle of interest in different cameras with no overlapped views. It can be applied to many practical scenarios such as urban surveillance and security. Compared with a similar problem, person reality, vehicle reality gets more challenges due to vehicle's special 3D structure. First, a vehicle in multiple surveillance cameras usually looks highly different in varying viewpoints. Not too much or even no overlap on visual pattern is shared across different views. The second problem is that you can always find many very similar vehicles on a road having the same color and type. Previous works have some drawbacks. They usually use features of the visible views to compute distances directly for reality ranking, or use the features in different viewpoint spaces to learn distance metrics or subspace in brute force way. We think that minimize the, the distance between the side and the front views of the same vehicle and push away that of two similar vehicles both in the front view will con confuse a model optimized without a correct and converged loss. In our work, Given a query vehicle image and a set of gallery images, the essential task is to generate a global viewpoint invariant representation for each vehicle, which can be considered as a descriptive feature containing all view information. Then we can fuse all the inferred features in different views and adopt the final representation for distance metric learning. Here's an overview of our design approach. The left part is a CN module for learning input vehicles model and viewpoint features. The LSTMG loop aims to learn transformations from the input view feature to the hidden view features. The LSTMD loop, which discriminates the real multi-view features and the generated features, is optimized against the LSTMG in an adversary training architecture. In the training phase, we take the input vehicle's different view features, both as the supervision for reconstruction loss and the real data inputs to train adversary loss against the generated data. Moreover, given an image pair, a reality loss is configured at the end of the ARSTMG for distance metric learning. In the test phase, the input one view image only needs to forward pass the CN and ARSTMG modules, and then all the inferred feature vectors in different viewpoints can be simply concatenated for computing the distance with other vehicles. The generative and the discriminative nets are both based on a bidirectional bi LSTM loop. At each view step of the LSTM unit, the input is a feature vector concatenated by the feature of the input view and the average viewpoint feature of that certain view. The outputs are supervised by the features of the corresponding views of the input vehicle using cross entropy loss. Moreover, our training architecture is inspired by the conditional game. We provide the noise in the form of dropout on the vehicle feature embedding as inputs for the generative net. To make the inferred hidden view features as close as the real multiple features, we designed the ARSTMD to discriminate the real or inferred features for the adversary training. To explore the effectiveness of multi uh, hidden view inference, the reality performance versus the number of inferred views is investigated. We train our model configured with a different V number of inferred views. With the increase of the number of inferred views, we can find more candidates with the different viewpoints and the proposed in top positions. And the correct hits in the top 10 ranks become increasingly more as well. We also evaluate the effectiveness of the bidirectional design and the different losses. If, if we only design a single directional LSTM module to infer continuous view variation in one direction, the output feature at the last view step of the LSTM might be poor due to the loss of information transmission. Besides, dropping the adversary training loss severely decreases the performance, which proves it is essential to help LSTMG training more real features in different views of each vehicle. It also shows adversary training can make the outputs at each vehicle. Uh, finally, we compare our model with some state-of-art vehicle reality methods and achieve competitive results on both the uh, very and the vehicle ID datasets. Okay, thanks for your attention.